border. It's a beautiful trophy, well won. It was a great moment when the Australian 11 provided our nation with a special present on the eve of its bicentenary. Our team's performance in winning the World Cup for limited overs cricket was a magnificent achievement, especially when you consider it was won in the most trying of all cricketing arenas, the subcontinent of India and Pakistan. Throughout the World Cup campaign, the Australians battled away as underdogs. Even when they reached the final against the old enemy, Alan Border's men were looked upon in some quarters as pretenders. Alan Border must have been delighted when he won the toss and he had no hesitation in batting first. And once again, his openers, Boone and Marsh, gave Australia a great start. Boone top scored for Australia with 75. A very good innings from Mike Valletta, who's been consistent in this competition. 45 not out. Alan Border with a useful contribution there of 31. Dean Jones also won six in his 33. Australia at the end of the 50 overs, five for 253. And England with a required rate of 5.1 is for 254 to win the final. It'll be a very interesting contest. Craig McDermott to the England opener, Tim Robinson. Just nipping back, and there's Robinson caught. That's well bowled, and so by Border. Oh, Aki was late coming. And yes, AB, you know, don't you? That may be out. And Simon O'Donnell has got the wicket that all Australia wants, with all of you watching in down there, I believe Western Australia and Southern Australia, and by the sound of it, the whole of Calcutta too. However, when the pressure of Australia's challenge brought the England skipper undone, it was clear nothing was going to stop these determined young men from down under. Nice time shot there by Affleck, just pushed away, but there'll be two or three in this. Have to be quick. Affleck really wasn't going for that third. Alan Border now to fall down. Down the wickets in there. And he's caught. Lucky bowler at this stage, but uh, maybe it's the lucky man, Steve Waugh. He's bowled so far. Seven overs for 33. He's going miles out. A little bit of suicide. Number four. Mid wicket. Four runs. Nineteen to win. Ten balls. That could be out. Yes, it's caught. Craig McDermott bowling from the high court end. Six balls left in the inning. Seventeen runs to, to make. That's the ball of Anthony. That's one out of the way, says Alan Border. 16 runs to win. Five balls to go. Australia now so close. Gone somewhere. Mid wicket. 
Australia now on the verge. Just a single. Australia are now two balls, or maybe one, from victory. It's along the ground, it'll be another single. That's going to be it. They must have the last ball, it might be a no ball, you might have a wide, you never know what's going to come. A cheer. No little effort by Foster. His job's bowling, not batting. Picked up on the deep cover boundary by Valletta. They take two and listen to the acclaim to be cheered by 90,000 spectators at Eden Gardens, Calcutta. And take your first World Cup. That is Australia's joy and England's. This great Australian victory was a reward for skill, dedication and courage, inspired by the leadership of Alan Border. As our nation prepares to celebrate its first 200 years, it's worth reflecting on the contribution of cricket in helping to build and mould our national character. It is with great pride that I'm involved with this video brought to you by Sharp. It covers Australia's long cricket history and it takes us back not only to our cricketing roots, but also to the origin of the sport itself.